It was January 2018. I went to a conference of a young entrepreneur. He was telling his story and motivating thousands of people to start their own business and enroll to his course, of course. At my age, he already had hundreds of franchises of coffee shops all over our country. I was looking at him as a big example for me, comparing myself with at my age, he already had so many businesses. Why am I still not there? I was absorbing each and every of his recommendations there. He told us that he started his own blog from day one, show up how he was launching his business from scratch. I read his posts. I saw that so many people started doing the same, but the highest number that I saw was a thousand days. I knew that posting each day wouldn't make me billionaire, but something inside of me was sure. My life will be unique and I want to document it. I want to show me and others that everything is possible. So other young people like me will be motivated by my story, repeat my steps, achieve the same or probably even more. And so I started. I committed to writing for at least a year and here I am on the day 1630. In this video, you will get to know what I learned through that process during my four years of journaling each day, how my life has changed and why you should start doing it today. Now, I don't ask you to post publicly as I did. Choose the most comfortable way for you and start right after watching this video, releasing your thoughts on paper and here's why. First of all, I've heard so, so many successful people like Robin Sharma, Jay Shetty, lots and lots of art people like Leonardo da Vinci document their journey so they will be able to come back and recall what they've learned what they experienced throughout their days so many successful businessmen tell right now i regret so much that i haven't started recording my journey from the very first stages it's so fascinating right now to come back and see what my thoughts were once i started therapists and psychologists are telling us that journaling is the best self-coaching practice and it is for free right so journals gives you an opportunity to come back and reflect on those thoughts even those ones that you journal yesterday. That is how you will be able to learn from your own experience. Reason number two. I bet you experienced that tension in your head and you was wondering why is that tension in my head? What is going on? I haven't done anything yet. But the tension in our head created by thoughts. Imagine that is our brain. Chickpeas are our thoughts. You see that once the brain is full of thoughts, that are there, it is heavy. So that is how you feel tension in your head. If you want to release your tension, you have to remove your thoughts from your head. Your thoughts will be generated by your head all the time because it is basic function of our brain. It's not possible for our brain to stop generating thoughts anyhow. So instead, what we want to do is remove some chickpeas from this jar by journal. You just write your thoughts down and move some thoughts away. First of all, it becomes lighter, so there is no more tension in your head. But second of all, that is a space for a completely new ideas in your life. That space can appear only when you release some thoughts down. And then you can imagine that you can just add some new thoughts. And it's going to be like this. You can probably imagine that I will need to somehow split them afterwards, right? All for you guys, all for you. So once you remove this chickpeas from your head, these thoughts from your head, you will be able to gain much more ideas. For some of us, new ideas might be the reason of generating millions of dollars just because those ideas are extremely valuable for our businesses and for our lives. And you won't have any other possibility to have these new thoughts other than first free the space for them and then accept them. My lesson number three is once you have your thoughts on your paper or in your laptop, you have the possibility of watching your thoughts on an external device. That helps your brain realize that it is not longer mine, it is on outside of my body. Yes, that is how our brain understands that that is not we anymore, it is something outside. Once our brain understood that it is something outside, we can doubt those thoughts. Why should we doubt those thoughts, you would ask me, right? Because none of the thoughts in our head is completely truth. Completely truth are just the facts. I will tell you how to distinguish facts and thoughts in your head in some of the next videos. But before that, if you want to understand what all those thoughts mean, how do they stop you from achieving your dreams, I kindly recommend you to fill up the Google form under this video and have a free coaching session with me. On this session, we'll go through your thoughts 
will go through your journaling, will understand what you are inspired to do and what holds you back. From that session, you will get so, so much clarity on how to work with your thoughts. And at the same time, I will tell you how I can help you. I have five spaces for free diagnostic sessions. After your completion of the form, I will respond to you within 24 hours. If you want to have my response much quicker, please shoot me a message on a Facebook. All links are in the description below. Reason number four why you should start journaling right now. So once we have everything in our journal, once we have everything outside of our head, only that is the way how we can see what is going on there. We can prioritize our tasks. We can understand what is important, what we should do first and what we should do next, what we maybe even don't have to do at all because we have so much other tasks to do. What you can cross away and forget about it right now because it is completely not your priority at this moment. And focus on just five main tasks on your day and once you completed them you feel much better because you complete the majority of things that will push you forward so there are two cases first one is when you have everything in your head like this you don't know what to do you feel overwhelmed you feel so much tension and guess what you do nothing from this and then even more thoughts will come there like you should have done so many things why you didn't do them it is also bad of you why and la 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 but once you have written everything in your notebook you can ideally prioritize everything focus on five main tasks on your day have much more energy to complete even more and that is how you will be able to do little steps each day rather than be overwhelmed and do nothing at all reason number five why you should journal and put all your thoughts down is when you have so so big goal you have so so big dream to achieve everything what you really really want you have this big elephant you are scared about this elephant so so much journaling will help you to decompose that very elephant to cut him on pieces and realize that he is not that big it is manageable to do this one to eat it or to achieve whatever goal you have in your head once you decompose them plan each and every piece of this elephant to each of your day for as many days as you have pieces. That is how step by step you will realize that you did so so great work today and eventually you will achieve this goal. Simple, isn't it? Reason number six why you need to start journaling right now. Once you write each day, you eventually will increase the level of your writing skills. Everything that we are doing right now, connecting with our work, career, communication, is through chats, through messages, through emails, through letters. So writing skills are crucial for each and every one of us. And believe me, you will definitely need this one when you apply to the new job, to the new position in several days, months, years from now. And the bonus point here, guess where all the speeches come from? All the touch talks, all the big, big events, all the big motivational speeches come from, from scripts. And that is how you have this flow. Once you achieve the writing skill, you know how to script your speech, you go ahead and talk, present your speech or perform somewhere. And then you have clients, funds, sponsors, investors, everyone you need is because you performed so well. And as for me, writing skills will definitely help me to write my own book. And yes, that is what I am in the process of doing right now. Lesson number seven, why you should do journaling. It will boost your consistency skills so much. There were so many different days. I was in such a different mood. I was exhausted. I was tired. I was in the middle of nowhere. I was camping in mountains and rain was just pouring as crazy. And it didn't matter for me whether I had internet or not. I wrote each day and then I went to the place of internet and I posted all of them. But the main skill is to write. To write each day no matter what is there in your head right now. How tired are you? Because that is how you will know that I wrote for 600 days. Isn't it possible for me to do everything else? Everything else is just as easy as open your notes and start writing your thoughts. Start scripting what you have in your head. And one more thing, once I did it so, so many times, right now I am not scared of writing. Now I'm not scared of going out there in social media and start telling about my thoughts, about my ideas, about my projects. I know that so many of you are so afraid of doing this right now. And it doesn't mean that you need to go ahead and share all your thoughts publicly. All you need is just to make sure that you do it each day. And in the skill of consistency, every single evening you get a dopamine
or main short because you completed one of your tasks during a day and the best practice to finish your day is with gratitude that is what will lead you to a positive morning because our last thought in the evening all the time defines our morning next day and then just don't tell me that you got a shitty morning because you didn't have enough sleep it's not because you didn't have enough sleep sometimes we can't sleep just four hours and will be the most energized person in the world but it is all about our energy about our thoughts in the last several minutes before we fall asleep so here again people were asking me so many times i don't know why are you so happy i don't know why you keep pushing for your dreams because i know that each day i have so many things that i can grateful for and during my coaching sessions I met so many people, so many women who were very frustrated with themselves. They believed wholeheartedly that they were not enough, that they are just wasting their time during a day. Once you write each evening things that you are grateful for, you will no longer have this thought in your head. And point number nine, that is what I mentioned before already, that we can learn only from our own mistakes. How we can learn from our own mistakes when we don't remember what we ate yesterday. Our brain is constantly want to remember the thoughts, but it is not possible because we generate hundreds millions of thoughts each day so will you really remember your mistake that you did several years ago will you really remember what did it did I do wrong when I was applying for a new job position at that company it is not possible for you to remember everything and that is not because you are some sort of unique no that is just a feature of our brain the only way how we can remember stuff is write them down don't you think that coming back to your thoughts when you were several years younger, it's such a precious gift that you can present yourself with. So what I learned from my own mistakes during that process, first of all, is that I am doing for myself, not for others. Second, it really doesn't mean what other people say or think. Yes, you can really feel that. You can really leave that insight through your journaling. Lesson number three, it really boosted my confidence. Before recording this video, I came back to my post and I wrote, and I wrote my writings from several years ago. I couldn't imagine how naive I was reading my own thoughts, not from other people telling me this. I can really feel that. Again, number four, I realized what I went through. And this leads me to value and treasure this very moment of my life so, so much. Number five, Sometimes we all forget about the basics that we got from our own insights. Basics like trips, friends, family, your health, doing something unique, doing something new, go outside, treasure the moment, treasure the nature, and do really much more what you really love. That is what you can remind yourself by reading your post from several years from now. And one more point is from reading my previous post, I know that I gotta trust the universe which proved my favorite quote by Steve Jobs, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that dots will connect somehow in the future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. This approach has never let me down and it has made all the difference in my life. With these words, I kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button and like this video. Comment what insight did you get from this video. With doing this, you will help this video to be shown to much more people and much more people will gain the same insights that you gain in this one. If you really like this one, don't be greedy. Share the link of this video with your friends. It will help me so, so much. My name is Alena Brevkina. I am a life coach from Canada, and my mission is to transform the minds of 10,000 people so they will live study and work in the place of their dreams. And now I invite you to watch this very video about the secret, where do I journal the most and when? It was kind of embarrassing for me to share this one, but I know you'll have fun once you realize that very secret from my life. So I see you there. Bye-bye.